I spoke with Scotts Bluff County Health Director Paulette Snell about the impact of COVID cases throughout the panhandle. So, you know, uh, we've seen a uh, drastic decrease in cases, um, you know, from our all-time high in January 16th, uh, you know, we've, we've seen a steady decline where our um, last seven-day rolling cases for the Panhandle um, this last week was only 55 cases. So, um, you know, we're very happy about that, but you're right. We need to do something to be aware to keep that down and to, to not drop our guard. So we still are um, recommending for people to get vaccinated. And we see, you know, good, good results from the vaccine in that it's keeping people out of the hospital and um, keeping them um, less severe illness within that group. Um, one of the things we are seeing also is that the, the need for a booster has been proven. And so as people who've gotten maybe the first two primary um, vaccines, to really think about getting that booster because, you know, there is a possibility of another um, surge in cases and or a new variant on the horizon that we would um, maybe see this summer. And so now is the time to really get that booster if they haven't or to get vaccinated if they haven't. And so that is probably one of the primary tools that we have right now to really help keeping the, that down and the numbers down and being being safe. Okay. Yeah, and then when we were looking at like case rates, I know that has seen a drop off in the past several weeks, but for people to understand when it says on the dashboard that we're at like 63.75 per 100,000, what does that mean? So that takes, so that is a way for people to be able to compare um, with other health districts or with other um, entities um, you know, other states and stuff about what the case rate would be. So that really takes your population and takes a look at the number of cases. And then you take a look at the population per 100,000, what that would be. So that way you can compare what the case rate is with Omaha and this, it can be comparable. 55 cases in the last seven days. Well, for our population, you know, you can't really compare that with like an urban area that would have a large population because they are more people. Right. By taking it and making it a case rate where you're taking the number of cases and it takes a look at a population of 100,000 people, how many cases are happening, um, and they do, uh, you know, with that, that rate, you can take that and then compare how we're doing locally with like another health district or even at a state level. So is this how we know that cases are on the decline, both locally and nationally? We call it an epi curve. And if you would go on the PPD, PPHD's dashboard, there is, um, you know, where there's the cases each week. And so you, you see this little spike, you know, back in January and how it's come down quickly. Yeah. But we call that an epi curve. And if you look at that, we can compare how that curve lays out with that that we see uh, state level and nation and pretty much with Omicron that drastic increase and then that drastic decrease is pretty much what we're seeing uh, you know across the nation as a national and then um, locally and and state it's kind of how that pattern of that variant has worked is that rapid increase because it's so contagious well thank you so much Paulette for taking some time out of your day to talk about COVID and hopefully we continue to report that it is going down.